Introducing the TCLL. Now, as you can see up there in the up in the title, I called this the the headlights, and that's because according to Speed Cubing 101, this is the U. But I'm gonna call it the T because that's what the um that's what uh is the first algorithm is the T O L L. So I call it the T. Uh, you guys can call it whatever you want. Just please note. When I say T, a lot of people, when they refer to T, they mean this, but I call this chameleon. So, just please note, when I say T, uh, don't get confused, this this case. So, yeah. Anyway. Oh, sorry. Um, uh, let's get on with it. Now I recognize it. Now, you should know, just from Ortega or uh, Beginner's Method, you know that the T is the... On where you have these two and this, okay? Oh, uh, you got like headlights and then this block here. Now, if you see it well, of course you need more just to recognize it because there's six cases. So how do you tell the difference? Um, now this is actually kind of different because for the other ones, uh, you you had to look on the sides for the pieces and then on top to recognize. This one you look on the sides. And on top to wrecking no sides and top to find the yellows and then the sides and top to find the recognized so it's kind of mixed up but you'll get really fast at recognizing these cases believe me trust me man um so first thing you're gonna do before even looking at headlights you just see there a two block that's natural that doesn't even count as a step um these two you're just going to look at these two, okay? So, I want to note that here's how you tell the difference. The cases, you're going to be looking at these two and these two. And they're either going to be opposite, adjacent, or same, okay? So, let's say, okay, so we look at this and we see this is same, okay? And when this is same, this cannot be adjacent. That's just because there are no case where it's like that. Um, And then you look, sorry, <laughs> Then you look at the headlights, okay? And the reason you don't look at the headlights before is because even if it was a chameleon, you still have to keep in mind that this is the uh, same. Sorry. Um, so, you look headlights, and then... Uh, oh, no, you look same, then headlights, and then now, keeping in mind it's same in headlights, you look here, and this is opposite, okay? So that's just an example of how you do it. Um... But there is a difference. The third step is different when this is adjacent, but I'll teach you that. So for the first four cases, that's how you're going to be recognizing. Look at these two. Okay, same. Headlights, opposite. So same and opposite. For You're always going to want to go in this order. One, because like, the first one's like right next to this. And two, because that's how I'm doing it, so you can follow along. Okay, sorry if I'm confusing you. I just need to get this... Um, in a 15 minute time frame, so it's kind of hard. Um, so, same, opposite. So when this is same, and this is opposite, and then of course headlights, you do this algorithm. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. Now actually, there's some stuff you might notice about that. Sorry. Okay, some stuff you might notice. Um. That's actually F, sexy move once, F prime. Now, I'm going to undo that. Now, this is very similar to our um, horizontal lines for the headlights case, where you do um, F, sexy move three times, F prime. Also similar to our Bruno case, where you got standing alone line on the right. That's where you do F, sexy move tw well, twice. And this one, you do F, sexy move once. So, F. R U R prime U prime F prime. Very easy. You probably already know that T O L L. Uh, poss possibly just from like two look O L L or just full O L L or something. Uh, on three by three, you most likely, or even like beginner's method, you usually learn that algorithm. Um, so that case is easy. Easy enough. Um. You know, pull up the algorithm sheet for some of these. Okay. 
Alright. So, yeah. They call it the U-case. If you want to look at them on Speed Cubing 101. I don't use all the same algorithms, but if you want to, you can look it up there. Wait. Oh, crap. Okay. Um... Um... And, okay. So, this case is actually really easy. Um, really, really easy. Not as easy as the other one, but it's pretty easy. So, you do, you hold it, you see opposite, same, okay? So, for opposite, same, this is what you do. U prime, R2, F2, R, U, R prime, F, U prime, R, U, R2. Okay? And then AUF. Uh, one more time. Now hold here. Opposite, same. And now U prime. R2, F2, R, U, R prime, F, U prime, R, U, R2. AUF. Uh, I'm going to do it faster. R2, F2, R, U, R prime, F, U prime, R, U, R2. So here's how I think of it. I'll tell you one more time. You just do R2, F2, R, F, R, U, R prime, F. Now, the last three moves, I don't really remember the algorithm. I just pair these up, U prime, R, U, and then I, I pair these two up like that, and then put them down. So the first part, you memorize the algorithm, like the hand motions, and then the next one, I just memorize pairing for the, la for the last four moves, U prime, R, U, R2. Uh, next case. This case is really fast. And this one, I have trouble with doing slowly. That's how fast it is. So, it is, um, adjacent. Well, let's just do this so you don't get confused and think it's the blue layer. Adjacent, same. So, adjacent, same. Um, or, what the heck? Same, same. Sorry. I always say adjacent and accent. Same, same. Sorry. Uh, you do Z prime. U2, R prime, U prime, R2, U prime, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime. <sighs> okay, I'll do it one more time. Okay, so, uh, so let's say you had same, same. Got the black layer, same, same. U2, R prime, U prime, R2, U prime, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime, and and then AUF. Now, you might notice what's funny about that is you're just solving yellow on top and black at bottom, and then now all of a sudden, like, you're AUFing, and then this is here, and that's just because the Z prime rotates it once, and then when you do the algorithm, it rotates it again. Oh, sorry about my hand. Once again. Um, so, that case is really fast. It can be like, yeah, oh, I just messed it up. Sometimes I mess it up. That algorithm I mess up a lot, especially when I'm going slow. And that wasn't slow at all. Sorry. Alright. So this is same, I mean, sorry, opposite, opposite. Opposite, opposite is really easy. It is X, U prime, so so you're holding it normally, now X, so rotate the cube like an R, or just put this in the back, and put your layer in front. U prime, R, U prime, R, U, R prime, U, F, U prime. So, U prime, R, U prime, yeah, U prime, R, U prime, R, U prime, U, F, U prime. U prime R U prime R U R prime U F U prime. Wait, let me do a better example here. Um, yeah, okay, so let's see. You did this. Okay, U prime R F U prime, and you notice why is U prime part of the algorithm? The reason for that is because the A U F has turned into A R F. So basically, a U prime is like an R prime normally. So don't worry about U prime being at the end of the algorithm and being weird. Um, yeah, it might be awkward. Okay.
Oh crap. Sorry. Shoot. So you're gonna have it like this. So actually your AUF turns into ARF. So you're gonna do R prime or ALF, whatever. And the reason for that is because when you do this, the algorithm rotates it this way. And a lot of algorithms do that, but when you have the same face on top, it doesn't matter if you're rotating it this way. See the same face on top? But if it's rotated this way, and then this is your top face, then yeah. So it's yeah, counterintuitive a little bit. Um yeah. So now we're gonna go into the adjacents and how they work, how you recognize them. So in this case, now how would you recognize them? Alright, first you see adjacent, then you see headlights. Now the last step, you don't look at this adjacent. Why? Because if this is adjacent, this is automatically adjacent. But that doesn't make sense. Because there are two more adjacent. So how are you going to tell them apart? See, you get adjacent, headlights. Now instead of looking at these two, you look at these two and check if they're the same or or not the same, okay? Well, if they're not the same, it's going to be opposite, but just don't worry about that. So you check say, uh, adjacent, headlights. Now, check same or not the same. So this algorithm is when, sorry, when you always want to do these two. Um, you don't want to switch, then you'll get confused. So decide right now. I would just do this so you can follow along. Because if you do these two, then it's not the same. If you do these two, it's the same. Yeah, uh, that's basically how it works. Um, so this algorithm is um, U prime. I actually use a worse algorithm because I always forget to use this one. But I'll try to convert uh, U prime. U prime there. You probably already know this. You might already know this algorithm for three by three. R two D R prime U two R D prime. R prime, U2, R prime. It can be really fast. I'm just not sure if it's as fast as my regular, which is that. So, actually, I'll do that one time. <laughs> that one, I didn't even describe it. Right. So, uh, yeah, like this. So, adjacent, headlights, these two are the same, U prime. R2, D, R, I, U2, R, D prime, R prime, U2, R prime. Then A, U, F. It's kind of awkward with the D's and stuff. Um, if you want to, you can learn the other algorithm from Speed Cubing 101, but I don't have time to show you the other algorithm. But go to speedcubing101.com. Uh, they have that algorithm. So, yeah. Uh, this one I really hate. I don't like this one at all. Okay. Uh, yeah, adjacent and headlights, not the same. You do uh, U prime, R, U2, R prime, U, then X, we'll rotate the cube like an R. It is kind of awkward, that's why I hate the elk. R prime, U2, R prime, U prime, then do that again. R prime, U2, R. I think I said it wrong. Okay, I'm gonna have to look at an algorithm sheet so I couldn't say that right. I usually never fail it. Saying it that way. Hopefully that. Uh, Alright, I know what it is. Uh, you do the Y program, and then you do this. So, let's get U prime. Now, R, U2, R prime, U, X. R prime, U2, R, U prime, R prime, U2, R. Okay? So, yeah, U, U prime. So you do the U prime in there. R, U2, R prime, U. X, R prime, U2, R, U prime, R prime, U2, R. So you're probably going to want to get in the habit, which I have very much gotten, of when you have those U's and U primes in it, like incorporate it with the algorithm so you naturally do the U's. Because that's what happens for me. Like, when I try describing the algorithm, I say U prime is part of the algorithm. And, I mean, that's that happens a lot. That I did that. Anyway, that's it. Uh-oh. We don't have time. Bye.